Okay, so we're out here looking at the 72 hour survival kit from Life Gear. I have not opened it yet. This is the way it comes to you. Now this is a kind of a cool little setup here. There's your handle. Um, looks like you can actually carry water in it too. It's got a, a spout in it here. So why don't we take a look? I'm going to not pull that off. I'm still using my optimal number eight that I got. I actually really like this knife. All right, so, 72 hour, waterproof survival kit. This is for two people. There's the, uh, the contents of it. Uh, I'll keep the knife up here just in case I need it. Keep that. And this is a, this is pretty heavy gauge. I've got quite a few waterproof and they are they are nothing like this. All right, first thing I see is a couple of straps. Um, so on the here, place to put straps. So you can put a couple of straps on these too. All right, first thing we pull, I'm gonna set this. So what do we got in here? Resealable container like that. I don't mean keep your matches in. You can put a sandwich in it too. Uh, burn care relief gel. Soothing cooling gel for burns. That is excellent to have. Uh, waterproof matches. First lighting 40 matches. Yeah, we'll have to uh, try those out. I will keep everything just the way I get it. Set that over here. Let's see what else we got. Ooh. I actually give you a big roll. Not wide, but big roll of duct tape. Again, sealable pouch. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Now remembering this is for uh, two people, so roll of duct tape. Oh. A little mini multi-purpose tool. Gives everything on the, at the back of the card. What it is, what it's for, everything is numbered. Oh, it almost looks like a sundial. Number nine. Oh. Direction actuary indicator. Alright. It's got a screwdriver. Little knife feels like it's pretty sharp. Can opener, little saw. Um, yeah, I don't know how much you'd want to cut with it, but these are always good to have. Even if you just want to uh, cut some kindling. a towel. It's one of these little multi-purpose. Like you get it wet and it expands. So that's kind of cool. There's two of them in here. Two. Oh. Aqua tabs for your water. Actually there's 20 of them. Oh here. Looks like each little pouch is gonna have its own little little card. So, 30 feet of paracord, um, doo -doo -doo. roll of duct tape, multi-tool, five-in-one whistle. 
Well, I'm not going to take this out. I think we've all seen these. Got a little compass on the top. Whistle and uh, water storage. And then it's got its own little cord with it there too. So that's kind of cool. That's all on this little pouch. I said I'm going to keep everything back the way I got it. Maybe I can uh, get it in a little easier than the last one I did. Because uh, I did the, uh, the survival can from from Henry. And I had the dickens of a time trying to get that all back in the can, but I got it in. Also, I put everything back in the bag, doesn't it? Got a multi tool or water tabs. Our little direction there. So these. 72 hour kits uh, they are I would say really important to keep one around because uh, you never know what's going to happen but the thing you have to understand about them is that most of the stuff is good in any situation no matter where you live some things you might be able to do without as much of um, put different stuff in it um, The water purification tablets are great up here in Canada Because I would say you can't go any more than say two to three miles without finding water up here uh, in Ontario um, The Western provinces um, Saskatchewan Manitoba Alberta might be a little harder to find water, but you'll still find water. In the mountains, obviously, it's hard to find water unless you can get down in the valleys and find a stream. So, I'll continue on with that later. Uh, here's their, looks like their medical first aid supplies. Uh, what do we got here? We've got a uh, tensor bandage, elastic bandage. Oh, toilet paper. That's always good to have. Uh, some smaller gauze. Still has bandages. Little tweezers. Tweezers are great. Actually, I've still got a sliver. I've got to get out, but it's a little too deep. Uh, some tape. A little pair of scissors. I'll keep them in there. Safety pins. These are really, really underestimated by a lot of people. Um, doesn't matter if you get them from the dollar store or where you get them, you should always keep some safety pins around. Number one, um, you tear your clothes, keep the clothes together for you. Uh, number two, if you have a really bad cut and you don't have something around, you can always use safety pins to keep your cut closed. Um, that's actually why I carry a couple of suture kits with me. Uh, the neoprene gloves. Uh, what else we got in here? Um, Alright, we got an ice pack. Oh, wait. Beads in it. Um, I would say this is a um, Hmm, disinfectant of some kind, like a hand disinfectant or something. Uh, plastic tweezers, hand, oh, hand sanitizer, yeah, that's all right. What else we got in here? Alcohol wipes, or alcohol-free cleansing wipes. Here's your alcohol pads. Uh, some more gauze pads, some bandages, different sizes. A um, couple of butterfly bandages to help keep your cups closed. Some moleskin, basic first aid instructions, they're always great to have. Uh, the best thing to do though um, for that is take a first aid course. In Canada here it's St. John's Ambulance. Um, I don't know what the individual states would have. Um, I imagine Red Cross puts them on, people like that. So, 
everybody, and I mean everybody, should take those courses. Uh, my daughter took hers, uh, actually part of her outdoor course, when she went to college. Uh, she had to have three different first aid courses. Uh, she had to have her first aid course, standardized first aid course. She had to do her CPR course, and she had to do her uh, water CPR course. Um, because they spent a lot of time out in the water, um, canoeing, kayaking. Uh, most of their, all of their camping stuff was done outdoors, and they had to canoe to where they were going. So that was one of the uh, conditions to them taking the course was to do a water first aid. All right, what else we got in here? All right, signal lights. Light gear signal lights, uh, flashlight, and glow stick. Oh, those are always cool. Oh, it's got a little flashlight on it. Flashes. All right. Oh, and it's an emergency whistle in it, too. Cool. There's two of those. And this looks like it might be a... Yes, it is. Hmm, there we go. Little, little flashlight. Emergency flashlight. Those are actually pretty good. And it locks up in place, too. I should turn it off. Alright, so you got a couple of those. So if you got a couple of people in your party, you each carry one of these. Tie it off. Um, flashlight. Flashlight flasher, flashlight glow, glow, flasher. So it's got all kinds of things on it there. So if there's a couple of these, you each get one. Now remembering this is for two people, this kit. I'm starting to light like this kit. And of course it's starting to rain again. Uh, it's been raining pretty much since last night. We had a Reprieve this morning, but now it's starting again. Uh, packaged water. So, you know, this is one of the things uh, for two people with the tabs. I might just take one of these. Uh, they have two packages of them, which, depending on where you are, two packages might not even be enough for you. Um, I would say, like, if you're in, in a dry state, say Arizona, Nevada places like that you're definitely going to need water if you're stuck out in the elements um, up here in Canada purification is your biggest thing filter purify um, and you're good to go you're always going to find water up here uh, even the hottest months August uh, you're going to find water there are so many rivers and small lakes and ponds and everything up here which is why the mosquitoes are so bad, too. All right, uh, what do we got? Oh, the emergency tube tent. These things are pretty cool. I haven't used one of these yet. Um, I am definitely going to have to go out and get one and try it out. Uh, rain ponchos. Just regular rain ponchos. Nothing special about them. They're great to have. You don't want to get out there soaked. I won't pull them both out. Uh, two emergency blankets. These ones are silver. Now, here's a question for you guys. Um, which do you think is better to use? The silver emergency ones or the uh, gold colored ones? I haven't decided which is better. Um, I haven't looked at any of the data to show one is better than the other. So if any of you guys know which one you know is better or which one you think is better yeah give me a shout out and leave a message in the comment section which one you think is better um, I haven't a clue I've used the silver ones uh, I haven't used a gold one yet 
Alright, what else we got in here? Emergency rations. These things are heavy. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Alright, and there's two of those in here. So you got your water, you got your food, you got your shelter, you have a way of being seen, you have a way of being heard, and you've got some nice first aid gear in here. And you've got a way to carry this because you've got the straps to go with it. Uh, I'm going to get all this put back in here. This is pretty cool. I like this. And like I said, this is from Life Gear. We just got this. Actually, I just got this yesterday. Uh, that's why this is the first time I've opened it up. And I wanted to open it up with all of you guys here to see it. So I am really liking this. I will actually throw up a, a picture on uh, Instagram with everything in it. And I will take out the, the straps and put the straps on it. And I'll uh, post that picture on Instagram too so you can see what it is. But it's just actually starting to rain a fair bit more. Um, if you like this video, hit the little heart. Give a thumbs up. Tell me that you like it. Uh, if you want to see more of this stuff, uh, let me know. Uh, give me a follow and you won't miss any. I've got a few more things that I'm going to have to be posting fairly shortly. So there's going to be, I don't know, I'm going to get about five videos out this week with all this stuff. So, anywho, Life Gear, their 72 hour survival kit. And this also carries water, remember that. So you carry water, you got a way to dispense it. That is great. I like this that it comes with. You can actually use that for water. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, you guys have a great weekend. It is Easter weekend, so if you observe it, you know, God bless. Have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you shortly.